Kenny Wayne finna react to the 2017 XXL freshman list. I mean, my people walking past. You already know what it is. We ganged up out here. Oh shit, I'm out of here, dude. Feel me? We ganged up. For hey, before we even start the video, we're gonna have some noise going through. You feel me? The the tub is stomped up, you feel me? The gang fixing it. They handling their business. They gotta do that gang shit, you feel me? First up, we got Kamaya. Now, Kamaya is from the Bay Area, from Oakland. Her um, album, A Good Night in the Ghetto, had pretty good, it was pretty good feedback, pretty good reviews on it. Her hit single, How Does It Feel? And she also has a good record called I'm On One, and also Out the Bottle, and Fuck It Up, featuring YG. So she has a pretty good catalog for a young artist. A Boogie with the Hoodie, I'm not too familiar with him as an artist, but I do know one of his songs called Jungle. He's cool, he's tight. He's like a singer and a rapper. I know um, Drake co-signed him, so that's a big up for him. PNB Rock, uh, I'm not too familiar with his catalog either. I know he has a, a single called Selfish. That's about the only song that I know, his mainstream song. So um, I'm looking forward to diving into his catalog and learning more about him as an artist and how he's unique and what he brings to the table. Made in Tokyo, I followed Made in Tokyo. Made in Tokyo came out with his hit single, Uber Everywhere. Um, he has two albums, You Are Forgiven, which had Uber Everywhere on it. And then he had a Thank You, Mr. Tokyo. Um, Thank You, Mr. Tokyo had Skateboard P on it and a other few good records. Now, Made in Tokyo, to me, is a, um, I like him. He's very energetic, he's very witty with his words, and he's direct. Um, you know exactly what he's talking about. And I got respect for artists like that, so he very well deserves to be on this list. Playboy Cardi just came out with his mixtape in 2017, self-titled Playboy Cardi, with his hit single, Magnolia. He's kinda in the same bubble as Uzi, uh, Dex, and all those guys. He has his own flavor though to it, and I, he has a big co-sign from ASAP Rocky, and um, I think he's affiliated with the ASAP Mob gang shit. Next we have Amin Amine. I think that's how you say his fucking name. I'm not too sure how you say how you pronounce his name. Um, he has a lead single, Caroline, which um, which uh, he got big off of, and he just came out with a new single called Red Mercedes. Now I'm not too. I know he's from Portland, Oregon. I don't know much about him either. Um, he's different, he's unique, I can say that. Watching his videos, he seems like the artist that likes to include his friends in a lot of his records that he does and promotes and puts out to the public. And I always see his friends as part of his campaign, like he has a commercial out and his friends are like, instead of having random actors in all of his music videos, his actors are always his friends. So I think that's tight, he keeps it within his clique, his community. So salute to Amin Amine. Sorry, bro. If that's not how you say your name, bro. I fucks with you though. You cool. Cap G. Um, Cap G has his uh, hit single called "Girlfriend," and in 2017 he released his new single called "Super Hefe." Now, Cap G is from Atlanta. I don't know too much about him either. I'll be right back. You gotta say what's up to the people though before you leave. Just say peace out. <laughs> hey, there you go. Uh, yeah, hey, there you go. <laughs> Cap G's lead single came out called Girlfriend in 2016, and in 2017 he released his um, album Super Hefe. I've, I haven't been able to listen to his album, but I do like the single Girlfriend. I know it's very mainstream, but I fucks with that record. That record's tight. Kyle, um, super duper Kyle. He has I Spy and uh, Doubt It. I'm not surprised that he made it onto this list because I know I Spy kind of catapulted him onto the list. Um, that was big, featuring him and uh, Yachty, uh, featuring Little Yachty, my bad. That was a tight record. <clears throat> I'm not surprised. He's kind of like a, I can see him as a Drake type artist. He's a singer and a rapper at the same time. And I was very surprised by Ugly God making the list. I know that Ugly God has a very large cult following. Um, his single is Water, and then he has Bitch, I Beat My Meat, and then I'm still waiting on his 2017 mixtape or album, whatever it's called, called The Booty Tape. And last, we have XXX Tentacion. Tentacion, however the fuck you say his name, people just call him X. Now, recently, X just had an event um, go on in uh, San Diego because he's beefing with Rob Stone, and one of Rob Stone's click partners ran onto stage and knocked his ass out. That shit was kind of fucked up, and it was weak, but X, bruh. Stay on guard and have your folks be on guard, be on the lookout for you when you're up on stage so they won't have you out here looking crazy again. But I fucks with you, bro. Now, X had that single, Look At Me, which came out in 2015. I feel as if X got bigger when he went to um, 
when he went to jail, when he got locked up, I feel like his name and his image got bigger. And then when he came out, he came out to a bigger platform because people were like waiting for him, just like they did with Kodak. P people were waiting for Kodak to be released from jail. You saw a lot of free uh, X leagues going on. So I'm happy that X is out and he's out here living life. He's young, I think he's about 19 years old and he's out here making all this money touring. So I salute to him too. Overall, this list was pretty good. It was pretty accurate. Um, I was surprised to see that they left Young and May off considering she had her big single, Ooh, and her new single, Hot Sauce. Hot Sauce did not do as well as Ooh did, but that Ooh record really shifted the culture. A lot of people compared it to Bobby Smurda's Hot Nigga. The same, um, it had the same tempo, the same fucking, kind of the same drum pattern on it. You know, people had that little soft, little New York shit, but I thought that she would make it, but maybe next year. Or maybe her year is up. Maybe her time is up. I don't fucking know. Famous Dex. I thought Famous Dex would make it. You know, he signed with Rich Forever, Rich the Kid. He's been putting out music videos weekly, working hard, and he has a big following. I was surprised they left him off. Now, Smoke Purple and Lil Pump. I knew it would be between those two artists. They're kind of the same. They're very similar in their style and their um, their the way they rap. Their um, their rift, their flow, their melodies are kind of the same too. Um, I knew it would be between both of them. I thought one of them would make it, but shit, both of them, none of them fucking made it. So, I thought that was kind of weird. And that's it. That's a wrap. You feel me? Kenny Wayne. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And comment below and let me know what you want me to react to or review next. And that's that. Shuckle.